Hi everyone, my name is Shayna and this is my mom, Anta Fraser. And today we are going to be making Safta's famous Hanukkah salad. Because as everyone knows that on Hanukkah we eat a lot of oily foods and oily donuts. And on Hanukkah we used to also have some healthy, healthy. salad and nourishment because it's very important. First we have our ginger. Then we're gonna have a little bit of Ashkenazi treat. And let's not forget our spinach. Yum, yum, yum. And, and now, now for our delicious, delicious, healthy dressing. Bring in the oil. The oil. Super nutritious also. Aren't you feeling the Hanukkah spirit? Yes, I am. Healthy, healthy salad. Yum. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Hanukkah party. So Hanukkah is like an amazing holiday. Hey kids, we're gonna be lighting fires around the house, giving out cash and eating a lot of oily foods. Come down. So here are five steps to truly understand what Hanukkah is all about. Step number one, the Maccabees. Around 2,200 years ago, the Jews were living in Judea and fulfilling Hashem's mitzvot and commandments happily and peacefully. That is, until the Greeks showed up. Where's the party at, So now the Greeks were very into their body. They were into the Olympics, into modeling. So the Greeks didn't really have an issue with the culture of Judaism. They had more of an issue with the spiritual reasoning behind it. For example, knishes, gefilte fish, lox and bagels, all great. Honestly, this gefilte fish is fire. I tell you what, them Sparties make them gefilte fish the best. Hands down. Hey. Try the cream? Pass it over the cream. Hey, where's my gefilte fish? Listen, you're uh, okay, you know, okay. Okay. The second it became spiritual, meaning the reasons and the holiness of these traditions to serve God, that's what the Greeks couldn't handle. Is until the Maccabees showed up. Maccabi stands for Mi Kamocha Ba'elim Hashem. Basically, they were a small group that decided, that's it, we're going to fight the Greeks. So now that you know what the Maccabees are, let's move along to step two, which is da -da -da -da! lighting the Hanukkah menorah or Hanukkah. The Maccabees came back to the temple after they beat the Greeks. They found their temple in shambles. So the Jews really wanted to light the menorah to thank God, but they couldn't find any oil. And all they found after looking for a while was a little, little jar of oil that could only last one day. God made a miracle and made the one-day oil last to eight days. Hi there, they smell. I have a, a small little question. I was just thinking, do you know where it says what type of oil it was? Because it's really, if I could find oil one day and it could last for seven, it could save me a lot of money. Buy one, get eight free, come on. That's why we light the menorah, to commemorate this miracle that happened so long ago. So tonight, when you light your menorah and you're sitting down in front of the candles, Listen to what the candles are telling you. Hey mom, I think we got the wrong candles. And that brings us to step number three, which is spin my dreidel. So dreidel, or in Hebrew, sedivon, is basically a game that the Jews played when the Greeks showed up while they're learning Torah. They moved the Torah scrolls away and started playing dreidel. Three. If my Shafel is still on his phone at this late hour... 
number four. This is your favorite, donuts and latkes. Basically, we eat them because what's a Jewish holiday without food? No, I'm joking. Also because of the oil. Chef, chef, where's the donuts? Yeah, Alvin making the donuts. Alvin? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Chef, what are you making here? Hey, I'm making latkes. Lab. You're making what? Latkes. Yeah! Yes. Alexander, what happened on Hanukkah? I don't know. It's too much work. Too much work? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, can we, can we get some? Can I have? Let me just take a little no, no, bit, please. No, 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 no,